In this video, I'll walk you through over 20 proven optimizations from simple settings changes to advanced system tweaks to make Ubuntu run as fast as possible, no matter if you are on an old laptop or a powerful PC. Let's start with switching to a lighter desktop environment. The desktop environment is what you see and interact with, the menus, taskbar, the windows. GNOME is Ubuntu's default, is feature rich, but it can easily use 1.5 GB of RAM just sitting idle. Lighter desktops like XFC, LXQT or Mate reduce idle RAM usage to 400 to 600 MB, leaving more resources for your apps. This means smoother multitasking and better performance on older systems. To install XFC desktop environment, open terminal and type this command sudo app install Ubuntu desktop. After installation, you need to restart your PC and at login, select XFC session from the gear icon. And now this will take you to the much lighter XFC desktop environment. Reduce desktop effects. Animations and visual effects looks nice, but they introduce tiny delays. Removing them doesn't just make your system lighter on resources, it actually feels faster, windows appear instantly. To disable animations in GNOME, run this command. Limit background services. Ubuntu starts a bunch of background services by default, printer daemons, Bluetooth, remote desktop, even if you never use them. These quietly consume RAM and CPU, disabling them means they won't even start on boot. To list the running services, just type this command. And to disable one you don't need, run this command. It's important before disabling any service, Google each of the service before disabling. Some are critical to the system. Manage the start of applications. Every app that runs at login adds to your boot time and increase RAM uses. Many apps sneak into your startup list without asking, like update checkers, cloud sync clients, or chat apps. Go into start of applications and uncheck anything you don't truly need immediately at login. You can always launch them later. Reduce Grub Timeout By default, Grub the bootloader waits 10 seconds for you to pick an OS. If you always boot straight into the Ubuntu, set that to 1 second. For this, run this command. and change grub timeout to 1 second. And then run this update grub command. Analyze boot performance. You can see exactly how long your system takes to boot and which services are slowing it down. To check total boot time, you can run this command system d analyze and to check detailed breakdown you can run this command this helps you decide what to disable enable zram when ram fills up ubuntu starts using swap space on your drive which is much slower GRAM compresses data in memory instead, so you can fit more into RAM before tossing the slow swap. This especially helps older laptops with 2 to 8 GB of RAM. To install GRAM, you can simply run this command sudo apt install GRAM tools. Use a faster file system. If you are doing a fresh install, pick a fast reliable file system. ext4 is great for journal use while xfs is better for large files and servers. Adding the no a time mount option skips writing last access timestamps to disk giving small read speed boost. Clean up disk space. 
A cloud system isn't just about wasted space, it can slow down updates and cause file system fragmentation, remove old packages, empty caches and shrink your log files. You can do this by running these commands. Enable SSD trim. If you have an SSD enabling trim tells the drive which blocks of the data are no longer in use. This keeps write speeds high over time. To enable this, we can simply run these two commands. Use a lighter web browser. Browsers are often heaviest app you run. Firefox with 10 tabs can use over 1 GB of RAM. Instead, Falcon or Meteori can cut that in half. Brave is heavier but can be tweaked to block trackers and reduce RAM uses. Install Preload. Preloads is a daemon that watches what apps you open the most often and preloads them into RAM. That way, when you click them, they open almost instantly. And to install preload, just simply run this command, sudo apt install preload. As well swappiness. Swappiness controls how aggressively Ubuntu moves data from RAM to swap. The default of 60 means it starts swapping relatively early. Lowering it to 10 tells Ubuntu to keep things in RAM longer which speeds things up, especially if you have enough memory. To do this, for the temporary change, you can run this command. Run this command and fill the changes. And for the permanent change, you can run this command. Remove unused packages. Unused software doesn't take up space, it gets updates every time you run apt, slowing down the process if you don't use it, purge it. For this, we can run this command sudo apt purge and the package name to completely remove it from the system. Avoid heavy snaps. Snap apps are self-contained and portable, but that also means they load slower and take more space. If speed matters, install .dev packages or flat packs instead. And that's it, a complete performance tune-up for Ubuntu. You don't need to do all 20 tweaks, even a handful of them will make a big difference. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and turn on notification for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.